Hey guys, it's Vox here with another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we continued to finish up some of the stuff around Clocktown, and we left for the swamp. Now, before we continue to go to the swamp, um, if you remember, we went over to the observatory, as you can see here, with, um, by the way, a very twisty telescope, and uh, we saw that business scrub that came from Clocktown and was heading towards this hole. Now, something I want to note is that I actually had to go back in time um, if you look, it's only 9 a.m., and it was later in the morning last episode. Uh, that's because I had to restart time and go back to the observatory because you have to watch the Deku the uh, business scrub the whole time, all the way until he goes into this hole. So I left too early, and it didn't actually count as him going in there because you have to watch him in order to trigger him being here. So we're going to come in here. Ah, what are you doing here? Th this is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in here without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. Um, so, right. Buy one for 150 rupees. No thanks. Hmm, no good? In that case, you leave me no choice. What about for 100 rupees? Um, you... He's not gonna lower the price anymore. I'll buy it. We don't have enough, though. Um, so... Yeah. Um, he's just gonna leave this place... This is something that I just wanted to note now because you can do it this early in the game. This is a heart piece I'm actually going to note myself to get later off screen. So just just keep in mind that here we are. This is a heart piece that I should be able to get. But because of the freaking Deku Playground that I wasted about 150 rupees on, um, we can't actually do it. Right, so... We're going to continue to head back over to the swamp, which is in this direction, as you can see here. By the way, that giant purple volcano thing is Woodfall. That's, um, a significant part of the swamp. Well, not the swamp itself, it is, it's there. Last episode, we also found out that the Skull Kid is only really being his evil power because he doesn't have any friends and, you know... Anyone who doesn't have friends is is a bad person. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that came out kind of harsh. Uh, but the, it's kind of left to rumor us whether he's really has full control over his body because it seems like all of this bad stuff he's done triggered once he got Majora's Mask. Alright, so um, we're going to come over here and actually get another, another heart piece. Um, these things are called bad bats. Um, it's a bit strange. They're actually called keys. In most games, people thought, why don't you just call them bats? So they actually called them bad bats in this game. But there are also keys in this game, so it's a bit confusing. Um, the bad bats are the black ones, and the keys are blue ones, which you'll see later on. So, I want to come over to here. We can climb up. Actually, it's going to attack me, isn't it? Okay, maybe not. I want to climb up these, vine these vines here. Oh, yeah. Hi there. Are you going to come down? Ah, gotta shoot it down. Alright. Now we climb up here. And up here we have another piece of heart. So this is our fifth one, I believe. And if we come over here, we see Tingle again. And let me... Kill this choo choo. Some health. Alright, um, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot Tingle down right now. Actually, I need one more Ruby before I do that. Uh, Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Here we go. Okay, now we're gonna shoot Tingle down. Can I make it? No. Come on. There we go. Alright, so Tingle is in a different area now, and because he's a different in a different area, he sells his maps for slightly different prices. And we've been through all this before, it's the same dialogue as the first time we met him. So what we want to do now is buy the Woodfall map for 20 rupees. Now you can see we also have a Snowhead map for 40 rupees. Basically, Tingle's con the, the concept for Tingle's map selling is that in the area you find him in, he sells um, 
He sells the current area's map for cheap, and then he also sells the next area's map for more expensive. But as you can see, that kind of cycles through. So, um, I'm just gonna buy Woodfall for 20 rupees. And... There's his magic words, whatever. Um, so we go to the world map, now we can see that the bottom part is unclouded, and that is the southern swamp. So let's continue through this passage to get to the swamp itself. Right. So the first thing you're going to notice is this building here. We're going to go, go ahead and go inside and see what's going on here. So we got this massive guy here. Blimey! Where is he? That spoiled child is off playing Oki again. A child his age has no business searching for fairy- <coughs> <coughs> Oh, um, welcome. That was a legitimate comp, by the way. <laughs> well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you take it? you don't have. Oh, is this your first time entering the pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tour Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. For nice pictographs taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded as a special prize. So, would you like to enter our contest? Oh, but to enter, you must first meet must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at that window over there. If we're interested, go for a ride. So, let's went over here. Old Calme's boat cruise ticket office closed. Let's go to the Magic Cat's potion shop instead. So, the reason that it's closed is because Calme is actually missing. So, we've got to go save her. Um, here's a deck of scrub here. Business scrub, sorry. Thanks for stopping. You're not from here, are you? I sell magic beans to dicker scopes, but I really like to leave my hometown. Um, so we can actually help him out by leaving for a side quest later on. Which we're not going to do now. So we can buy magic beans from him as a dicker scrub, although we're not going to do that yet because we don't have enough money. And um, I probably really should save up as much money as possible. I have some money in the bank. It may have been a good idea to pick it up, but I think we'll find enough now. It's not like we need to buy too much stuff. So we're going to come over here. Uh, continue to go south. Just follow these lily pads. And I'm gonna come over here to where these cauldrons are, and the, this cauldron here. And this is the introduction to Dekubabas. So, Dekubabas, basically, they um, drop Deku nuts when they're. Well, can't really explain. Now, when they're arched like that. Or when they're small. Um, that, <laughs> that was not the best explanation of Dekubalas. Um, they're, they're enemies. That, that's, that's good enough. Uh, let's see, anything in this grass? Uh, it has to be something, come on. Ah, uh, forget it. There's not much in there, just magic, which I don't need any magic, by the way. There's some rupees. Alright, so technically you actually don't have to come into this shop yet, but we're gonna go ahead and do it just to make the story seem more sense. More sensible. Kiki, <laughs> welcome. My potions work very well, they do. Are you by chance a boat crew's customer? How unfortunate, Kalme has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms. Hmm, now that I think about it, she's a bit late coming back. Say, could you go find her for me? Hmm, yes, it's easy getting lost in those woods. Ask the monkeys that live there. Right, so we can buy potions here. We've got blue potion, green potion, and red potion. Red potion restores health, green potion restores magic, blue potion restores both. Simple enough. So we're going to go over to these woods, straight behind the shop. And this place resembles the Lost Woods from Ocarina of Time. It's called the Woods of Mystery. So here's a monkey. Hmm, follow me. 
Now, it's a lot easier to follow him as a Deku Scrub, by the way, than by doing your spinning move, so just just follow him as close as possible. He's gonna try to throw you off just like that. Um, if you don't go through the correct tunnel, just like an Ocarina of Time, it will take you back to the beginning. So, I'm gonna be sure to follow him and stick close to him. Don't get lost. Now, these turtles you can kill by going into the Deku Flower and rising when they're right above you. But there's really no point in doing it. It's just going to give you maybe a couple of rupees, maybe a heart, and it's just going to kind of throw you off. See here. Oh, ow, 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 help me! So, here is the sister of that person in the poster shop, so we can't really help her now. We don't have anything, so we're going to go talk to her sister about that. Now, what's kind of funny is that I talked to you about how this land is Termina, and, um, ter Termina, sorry. I used to pronounce it Termina, and then I realized, oh wait, it's Termina. Anyway, um, and how all of the characters are counterparts to someone in Ocarina of Time. Ironically, that hag we just met, along with her sister in here, were a boss of one of the, the later dungeons of the game. The two of them together were a boss of the Spirit Temple. It's kind of strange to, to see them as just potion shops. Hee hee hee, welcome. My potions work very well, they do. Are you by chance a boat cruise customer? How unfortunate, Kaomei has gone into the woods. Into the woods, looking for mushrooms. Hmm, now that I think about it, she's a bit late going back. Think could you go find her for me? Hmm, yes, it's easy getting monkey. Um, so now what we want to do is talk to her again. And speak to the hag. Hmm, if only I had some fragrant mushrooms. Wait, no, we don't have mushrooms. Wait. Um... Wait, I don't think I, I don't think I did this right. Hold on. Okay, so what you actually want to do is talk to her as human, and she'll actually talk to you. So, I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms, when bam, I got hit from behind. That pesky skull kid. Did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, I would think that he's powerful, and now I, I can't even move. You, don't you have anything that gives you energy? No, we don't. Ah, oh, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not at all what you make yourself out to be. It's funny how a lot of people say that they they can just tell that we have a lot of potential. Um, maybe some people still know about the uh, the world in Ocarina of Time and that we're actually the hero of time. So now what you want to do is come back up here to the Magic Hag's potion shop and talk to her sister as human. Hee <laughs> hee welcome. My potions work very well, they do. I've said that three times already. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's that? A skull kid got to cow, mate? That's ridiculous. If it's just a skull kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. And we get the potion, the bottle of red potion. Um, so again, red potion restores health. And also, we get to keep that bottle once we give it to Kaomei. So, the bottle is actually very useful. Um, this is one, this is the only Zelda game where you can get more than four bottles. You can get six bottles in this game. Usually, you can only get four. And ironically, bottles are actually really, really useful. And they've kind of been a major part of, uh, of the 3D Zelda games. Which is a bit strange, I mean, it's just an empty bottle. But, I mean, it's to the point where you, there's like major side quests where the prize is simply an empty bottle and you still get really excited over it. Um, bottles can hold potions, They can you can catch fairies that can revive you, um, it can hold a lot of key items, and um, there's a, some stuff that you can craft, you can put in there. It's, there's, it, there's a lot of uses for, for potions, I mean for bottles. Potions too. <laughs> So uh, you want to equip this potion, and you want to lock onto Kalmei, and then push the C button that you assign the potion to. No, you don't want to do that. Wow, I just <laughs> that was <laughs> that must have been so harsh for her to just watch. I brought I brought you red potion to heal you, and you just drink it all right in front of her. Okay, that's not what you want to do. I'm going to get some more red potion, 
and then go back. Okay, now that we're back here, you want to talk to Kalmei first, and then you want to select the potion. Ah, oh, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotex. Looks like she just coughs it all. Oh, feel the energy flow. Kalmei is revived. I don't know why I'm making them sound like Dobby from Harry Potter. You saved me. I'm the swamp tour guide. I run the boat crew, so come by if you want a free ride. Right, so, after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and leave the Woods of Mystery. And now these monkeys are blocking us. You have strange powers, no? Me even watching you. Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall. Strange. Brother go to temple, but brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku. Now in palace. Help! Right, so now the monkeys want to help to save their brother. And that is our next step, but we will do that next episode. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will continue the southern swamp by going to the Deku Palace to help out these monkeys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Stupid Deku.